Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to video number four in the restoration series of the Grudex Satellite 2100. This is the second one I've done on this channel. And um, what I'm going to do here is I want to get some of the alignment done. We've got a lot of RF alignment to do. There's a lot of AM bands and each one of those needs aligning. So uh, that's what I'm going to handle here. I also want to check what the FM is like. I'm not sure what the alignment on the FM is like. It could be good enough. It might not be. We did uh, quite a bit of messing around with the with the IF stage, but that usually doesn't affect the front end. So we'll see. We'll see how we come along here. And also, I started doing quite a bit of cleaning. There's a lot of cleaning on this, and usually it takes a couple of passes. I've done the first pass and see the results. It's uh, coming out quite nicely. There are a few marks on here that are impossible to get rid of, but I'll do my best. If this sort of thing interests you, stick around and enjoy the video. To start the AM alignment, I'm going to start with the long wave. First thing they tell you to do is to set it to 160. We've done that. I've got uh, the smallest sign, uh, smallest signal possible. Modulation, it's um, AM modulation, a one kilohertz tone coming out here. It's going down here to the switch attenuator. We'll see how much uh, signal we need. I've got the dummy antenna connected coming out here and going to the external antenna. And obviously I've got external antenna switched on. Before we carry on, I just want to thank the sponsors of this video, PCB Way, the company I use for the project boards that I have made. And they've got an enormous range of services and products. They do the standard PCBs that I use most often incredibly well, very fast, but they also go a lot further. They've got uh, instant quoting for advanced PCBs. They've got the uh, rigid flex type as well. You can have assembly done and have a turnkey project. You can also do stenciling. You can do CNC or 3D printing. So whatever you need, I'm sure you'll find them. Visit them on pcbway.com. Now, if I put the volume on, I've got the speaker on there. I'm at 160, I get nothing. It's at about 165. So I'm going to put it at 160. And they tell us to adjust one, which is this inductor here. You can watch the meter. That in terms of tone seems to be the best I can do. And now we've adjusted the oscillator. And what I'm going to do is do the oscillator for the top end as well. So 370 and we adjust 2. So I change the uh, signal generator to 370 kilohertz. Tune up to 370, see, where, see where, where we can find it. It's pretty close, but not quite there. And we need to adjust 2, which is a little trim cap, just above 1. Perfect. Now all I've got to do is rinse and repeat, go back to 160, go back to 370, make sure that the oscillator is set, and then we're ready for the RF, uh, the other circuit alignments. Now still on 160, we're going to align the uh, intermediate and the RF circuits. So looking at the uh, meter over there, this is one of them here. This is, I believe, the intermediate. This is uh, three. I need to break the seal with the metal screwdriver. There we go. Now I can use the ceramic one. There, whoops. There, we've peaked that. And then we've got this guy here, which I believe I need to get the wax out for. Do I? There's our peak. So we've done all we need to do on 160. Now we'll change it to 370 again. Now 
Now 370, we need to adjust four, which is this one over here. I'm not getting anything on there, so I'll leave it exactly where it is. And then we need to do seven. And seven is that cap at the bottom there again. So I'm going to break the seal. Got it. Now we can use the ceramic screwdriver. Yeah, pretty much perfect. And that is the... Um, RF and intermediate alignment. Now we've got to go to 240 and adjust 5 for a max. So we'll set the signal generator to 240. Done. Put the volume up. Put the speaker on. Let's see where we get it. Got it. Hit dummy load. It's too loud. And we need to adjust five for a max. And five is this guy over here. Too big. There's our peak. And we have completed long wave. Brilliant. Now for medium wave, we do exactly the same thing, except uh, different alignment points. We set it to medium wave. We feed in first 560 kilohertz, and um, you adjust uh, 10 for a peak, in other words, to align the oscillator. And then you adjust 12 and 15 for the intermediate and the um, RF circuits. Once you've done that, you then go up to the top of the band, 1450, signal 1450, tune to 1450, and you adjust 11 for the oscillator, then 13 and 16 for the intermediate and RF circuits. And then finally, the last thing you need to do is feed in 1 megahertz, 1000 kilohertz, tune to 1000 kilohertz, and you adjust 14 for a maximum. That's basically it. Now, you may have noticed I have not touched the ferrite antenna adjustments on either the long wave or the medium wave, and that's on purpose. Those things are perfectly sealed with wax. Nobody's messed with them. I'm leaving them. They're often very touchy to adjust because when you get your fingers close, your hands get close, the whole thing goes crazy. So unless it's been messed with, I normally leave them alone. And that is a long wave and medium wave done. I've done uh, short wave one and two in exactly the same manner. The only difference is that I connected the antenna or the signal in to this which connects to the rod antenna. They tell you to do that. Now I just wanted to have, out of curiosity, I wanted to see what the FM was like. So I've set it to FM. I've got this thing sending a signal at 88 megahertz with a tone on it. I've only got a little wire coming out here as an antenna. But listen to this. And look where it is. It's exactly on 88. Okay, let's try 96. Exactly on 96. Let's try 106. It is right on 106. This alignment or the RF alignment of the FM, at least as regards the oscillator, is perfect. I'm not going to touch it. I mean, we've done enough on it already, but um, I'm actually pleased that this part of it is done. By the way, this thing has got, I was using the three presets on here. I did a video on this kit, which uh, ELV supplied me. This thing is incredibly useful. I believe you can't get it out of, outside of Europe, which is a shame, but is incredibly useful. It's small, compact, it's working on battery at the moment, so I don't have to worry about power supplies and all that stuff. It is fantastic. Okay, so what have we done so far? We have done long wave, medium wave, short wave one, short wave two, and we've completed with FM as well. That's all the RF alignment, all the IF alignments, all the alignments on that section done. 
what remains is this drum tuner. And this drum tuner is done around the back. I just have to do a little bit of research and quite frankly, the research I need to do is I need to go and see my videos again because I've done all this before and I did it in a lot of detail because at the time it was the first time I was doing it. So I went into it in incredible detail. I'm going to watch those videos again and I'll come back with the alignment of this drum tuner. I'm not sure what state it's in because it did get messed around a bit. You know, it shifted around there. Some of these things came off. We could actually have something misaligned, but we have to align two things. We align the main band and the commercial band within the main band. So there are a lot of alignments. I have to see how I do that again. And uh, so I think I'm going to stop for now. I need to do, as I said, some research. So I um, hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, click like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and stay safe.